What is happening everybody? It is Draco in here and we are back at it with another video. We are after Martinsville yesterday a quarter of the way through the NASCAR season. So yeah, that was a pretty quick first quarter of the season. There has been chaos aplenty. So let's give you a first quarter recap of the season so far. So the first part of the season, the first race of the season was the Clash and it was won by Martin Truex Jr. Uh, this season is starting to look like a 2019 Jimmy Johnson type season from Truex. He's not really done anything notable since. So, so yeah, that has been a pretty rough season for Truex so far. I think he's, I think he's in the playoffs right now, but not by a too solid amount. Then we move on to Daytona 500 qualifying, which was once again swept by the Hendrick Motorsports machines of Alex Bowman and Kyle Larson. The same front row as last year, except for their positions were swapped. Uh, then we moved on to the duels, which saw... I honestly don't remember who won the duels off the top of my head. I did not watch them live, but I knew that the open drivers to get in through the duels were Jimmy Johnson, Travis Pastrana, Connor Daly, and Zane Smith, with Chandler Smith and Austin Hill being the two drivers going home. The Daytona 500 was won by Ricky Stenhouse Jr., his first win since 2017, and he's still having a great season to this day. So... Excellent job so far this season by Ricky Stenhouse Jr. I'm glad to see him do well, because he really deserves it. Next, we have Auto Club, which I another race I didn't watch live. But I know that it was a pretty insane race after re-watching it, or watching it after it happened, I should say. It was a pretty insane race, and Kyle Busch took home the victory, extending his streak of winning a race in every single season. Next up, we have Las Vegas the next week. A, week, a race that could have been won by... by two different drivers. It was the first race that Chase Elliott was out because of a snowboarding accident that happened in Colorado. He only made his return this past weekend. So yeah, as you can tell, it's not been a great season for Chase Elliott. But anyway, back to Vegas. William Byron was the winner of the race after a late caution came out and Byron stole the victory away. Then we move on to Phoenix a week later, where, again, the finish was, max, was messed up by a late caution, and William Byron once again took victory over Kyle Larson. Next, we move on to Atlanta. And Atlanta was pretty tame, considering the Atlanta races last year were so insane. But... Joey Logano, the pole sitter, took home the victory after a pretty dominant performance. But I know a lot of people wanted to see Corey LaJoy get the win. Who was, again, up towards the front. A lot. Next up, we move on to Circuit of the Americas, which was, for the third time this season, a race where two drivers were competing for the win in a battle when a stupid caution comes out. And messes up the whole thing. At least this time, one of the drivers that was actually battling for the win ended up winning in Tyler Reddick. His first win with 2311 Racing. The next weekend, we had Richmond, which was a pretty uneventful race. But 
it was an exciting race. There was battles all over the track happening. But again, it was hampered by a late race caution, which screwed drivers out of the screwed drivers that should have won the race out of a win and gave it to Kyle Larson, his first win of the season. And next up, we have the Bristol Dirt Race, which happened last weekend, Easter weekend. And that race was, again, pretty uneventful considering the Bristol Dirt Races the past couple of years. But Dirt Ringer Christopher Bell ended up getting his first win of the year and is now locked into the playoffs. But nobody's going to talk about that. Because the Ross Chastain memes going over the NASCAR Twitter accounts were... That was like in the full surge of Ross Chastain being blamed for everything. So yeah, those memes were funny. Uh, and then, anyway, this past weekend, just yesterday, we had the Martinsville race. Again, a pretty boring race. Don't know why we still have the spring Martinsville race. But Kyle Larson finally got his first win at Martinsville, and he did a full lap burnout around the track. Here are some other headlines. Like mentioned earlier, Chase Elliott was sidelined from week three up to week nine because of a snowboarding accident in Colorado after Auto Club. But that wasn't even the craziest thing that happened this year, as Hendrick Motorsports was given... The biggest fine given by a single team in NASCAR history for illegal hood louvers on their cars, which docked them all a hundred driver points. That meant that that meant that Alex Bowman went from out of the points lead to I believe twenty second just because of that penalty. Kyle Larson felt a thirty third. And William Byron is was already locked into the playoffs at that point anyway with two wins. The number nine car was not penalized because Chase Elliott hadn't been in the car for the weeks that the hood louvers were discovered on the Hendrick cars. However, Hendrick appealed this fine and it was revoked. So they got their points back. And they are now still in prime position. However, there's a bit of controversy going on here because Justin Haley's number 31 car was also penalized for the same thing that the Hendrick cars were. However, his appeal was not granted. So he still is still behind some, I believe, some unchartered drivers right now. And that's crazy. So anyway, the number 31 team caused a lot of controversy and NASCAR made changes to the appeals panel for the future. Denny Hamlin was also fined 25 driver points. And his appeal was also not granted. And, we're, and so far, there's a lot of speculation that they were favoring the Hendrick cars. And that's why they got their driver points back. But that was pretty short-lived because William Byron and Alex Bowman were both penalized later on. I believe it was after Richmond for something. I honestly don't remember what it was. But they were penalized. I believe both of them were penalized 25 driver points as well. Which knocked Bowman out of the points lead once again. Where he still has not gotten back to the points lead. Christopher Bell currently holds on to that points lead. So anyway. I believe I covered all of that. So... Yeah, if there's anything I forgot, just let me know. But 
That is your quarter one report for the 2023 NASCAR season. Let's see what happens in quarter two. See you guys later.